Hey guys, Gamer Guy here with uh, a quick uh, tutorial. I know I've seen a few videos on YouTube, um, but all of them don't really uh, do the trick here. Um, so if you have a, a Naga mouse, Naga Razor mouse for an MMO game, um, I don't use it for World of Warcraft anymore because I don't play World of Warcraft anymore, but uh, I just use it because I have it. Um, it's really a shame that you spend a hundred plus dollars on a mouse and a year later it's uh, double clicking on you and uh, the laser lags and stuff. So the best way to solve this problem is to take the mouse apart and clean it very carefully. Now a lot of people will, will remove this whole Teflon strip. Don't because you won't get it back on and it won't stay back on. So what I did is I just pried up with my uh, flathead screwdriver here just the, the uh, four screw areas. There's one here, one right here, and then you just lift up the back like this. Uh, and once you lift up the back, you'll, you'll uh, take your Phillips head screwdriver and go in and remove the two screws in the back and then the two screws in the front. So once that's taken care of, Take your flathead screwdriver and slowly kind of, oh wow, that came a bit part easy. <laughs> um, you want to just take the top off like that. And on the inside, you're going to see the clicker on mine is so tiny, it's a micro switch. Now, make sure your mouse is unplugged when you do this not for power or shock reasons but because you just don't want to open up a bunch of unnecessary programs or possibly damage your mouse um, now these switches can get dirty on the inside and from what I've seen a lot of uh, YouTube videos uh, demonstrate is you lubricate the switch with uh, a q-tip and some WD-40 well I just want to let you guys know WD-40 is not a lubricant WD-40 stands for water displacer 140 it is a rust preventative do not use WD-40 as a lubricant it does act as a lubricant in its general properties but don't use it as a lubricant um, I suggest going out and getting um, like um, I don't have any around me but I have some in my work closet it's um, uh, pneumatic oil uh, that you put into pneumatic tools such as um, air ratchets or impact guns um, just get a little bit of that in a q-tip and dab it right onto the switch here I don't know if you guys can see that it's this little white thing you can even blow in it a few times if you get an air duster or compressed air just shoot air in there a few times you don't have to go crazy um, and the other thing I like to do is clean the contacts on the circuit board and a good way to do that is to just pry up on the switch I don't have a pair of pliers to do this so you try to be as careful as possible when you're doing this you don't want to bend any pins or break any wires um, just kind of pry around the edge slowly coming up and then just gently pull on the wire need a little bit more prying looks like it's just not going to come forget it I don't want to damage anything I can't find my damn CPU pliers but use your flathead screwdriver in your hands try to avoid touching the circuit board oil in your hands is not good for stuff like this make sure all the wires are intact make sure that the plugs are pushed down properly and the micro switch on the inside of this really shouldn't be worn down I used this mouse maybe like three months playing World of Warcraft so I don't know why the switches are so sensitive but 
Now just reassemble your mouse. Just put the top right back on it. Give it a, a good press. Seal it back up. Flip over your mouse. And reinsert your screws. Just snug them in. You don't have to tighten them down until you get all four of them in or else the case won't close evenly. And this went back down flat. If you do it the way I'm doing it, the Teflon will last a lot longer. And you should clean your mouse probably every three or four months depending on how much you use it. Me running a Minecraft server and constantly programming, uh, I use my mouse every single day. So this is one of the most essential pieces of equipment on a computer otherwise we wouldn't be able to uh, perform our daily nerd functions. So just give the two front ones a good rub. Heat it up a little with your fingers. Kind of melt the adhesive. Do the same thing in the back. Rub it a few times. Press nice and firm. Not to damage the mouse though. And then give a good blow into the optical. Don't touch that with anything, especially your fingers. Um, and we'll go ahead and reapply, or not reapply, plug the mouse back in. Not that easy. There we go. Alright, so now our mouse is plugged back in. And I'll just move the camera for you. And as you guys can see, I'm in Adobe After Effects working on some YouTube intros. And I'm having issues with um, my uh, optical flare effect. Every time I click on this, sometimes it'll do that instead of me being able to drag it. But maybe it'll last a little bit longer now that I did that. Yeah, see it's not double clicking anymore. So anytime you guys have that double uh, clicking issue, that's basically what you do, and uh, it's a real simple fix. If you guys have any questions or comments, concerns, uh, I know I didn't demonstrate the full lubricating process, but it shouldn't really be that hard. Uh, like I said, a Q-tip and some pneumatic oil. Don't use WD-40. You can if you want to, but its intentions are not to be a lubricant. So. Um, yeah, thanks for watching guys, and uh, again, subscribe, and if you have any questions on uh, any other things that I do in my videos, just uh, don't be afraid to comment, and uh, I'll get back to you. Alright, thanks for watching.